Peace. Um, why do dark-skinned Americans, also known as black people, in quotes, why do they get upset if someone of a different ethnicity used the N-word? Um, I've seen people other than this use it. I mean, I've heard people of other ethnicity use it. Asians, uh, you know what I mean? So-called white Americans. Um, it don't bother me because the N-word is not a so-called black person. Anyone could be that, period. It doesn't matter. Now, what I feel uh, this word, uh, I feel like this word doesn't have the same amount of, I guess, hatefulness as the N word does, even though it is connected with that whole era, is the word uh, MF. -er. That was because the slave owners, the European slave owners, would take the slave mothers and force them to have sex with their sons in order to produce more slaves. Now, that is an act particularly done to people of my ethnicity, if that's what you want to call it, or culture, <clears throat> of, I guess, so-called black American or African American. These incorrect terms that the so called slave owners don't put on us. And I think, I don't know who was it, Jesse Jackson, uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson, someone, somebody came up with the term African American. <clears throat> but in, neither here nor there. But anybody of any ethnicity used the word MF all the time. All the time. When that word is an act that was done to my people, you know? Um, it's just sad that us as a people cannot recognize the amount of brainwashing, the slave, the whole slavery thing has done to us and still is doing to us. They are still doing it to us. I mean, with the gangs, with everything, movies, they, whatever they doing, they they they, they, they manipulating the, the masses, all the different ways. Uh, they done destroy, pretty much genocide the Native American people, who. I don't know, what is it, three or four, or great, great, great grandmother was a full-blooded Cherokee Indian, and I have seen pictures of my Native American people. So to call myself African-American would be incorrect, because that would be denying my Native American heritage. Now, uh, they always say that the military is protecting our freedom. They're not. The military soldiers are just puppets. That's it, they're just puppets. They think they're actually doing something good. They might have the intentions and thinking of it and they feel like it's something good. But in actual reality, they're doing the, the, the corruption, the bidding, the corrupted bidding of the governments. That's all these world governments. I'm still living the same way I lived before the whole 9-11 thing was America knocked it down, as you can see. When the planes hit, a bomb blew from underneath at the base of the towers. And there was no Jews who went to work that day. And you could not find no regular marijuana at that time. There was only the kind bud, hydro. That's all you could get. <clears throat> um... Now they're trying, the American, the governments, 
the world government's major so-called disease, which they always make up diseases, put on us, and give us some vaccines for it, some type of medicine, whatever, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, there's some medicine that do help us, but that don't mean you have to trust everything that comes from the scientific community, or the medical community. Now, you have a disease, a virus, that mutates, or you have different strands of it. Um, why is the virus the only thing that mutates? I don't hear of frog mutations, mutate, mutating. I don't hear of human mutating. Not unless science is adding some experiments to it. You don't see worms mutating, insects mutating. There's always these viruses. Why? Why do you have three vaccines for one virus? And Johnson and Johnson has been has their products been took off the shelf plenty of times in the past. And they was killing people with their vaccines, giving them blood clots. And now you're trying to force people to take this vaccine. When y'all whip that thing up in a matter of minutes. Pretty much. A matter of minutes. Um I'm just done with the science. I'm just done with all that. The propaganda, the fake science, the experiments. We supposed to trust y'all every time y'all say something? No, that's not the way it goes. The Tuskegee Airmen trusted y'all, and y'all injected them with syphilis. <clears throat> the Nazis were experimenting on the Jewish people. They were experimenting on homosexuals, and they were they also had captured. I think it was a, a black American um, pilot, and they were experimenting on them and stuff. And then on top of that. Y'all give them asylum, bring them here to America because you want their knowledge and their technology, and then you form NASA. So you expect me to believe whatever comes from NASA? No. Sorry. All this thing was population control. I, I worked in a nursing home for many years. When the virus hit, the unit I worked on, within one week, we had like nine people, nine residents die. I ain't never caught the virus. I go out there, no mask, don't care. Psh. That never happened to me yet. Why, if you're supposed to be wearing these masks and you're vaccinated. Why the people who's not vaccinated gotta take all these measures to go around y'all? If y'all supposed to be vaccinated all this stuff, then y'all should be good then. We don't want you who should be who's in more trouble. Then on top of that, they don't tell you that the surgical mask you're supposed to wear inside out to protect yourself from getting the virus. Wearing it the regular way protects some protects someone else from you spreading it. And plus, the coronavirus has been around for years. It's been around for years. The governments are always doing something to the citizens of the world. And they still are. So-called black people of America, you're still going to be slaves, no matter what. No matter how many of us get into basketball or whatever, they don't really, yeah. People don't care. You know what I mean? They don't care. Because that was the case the world won't be the way it is. How America is in debt to China, but you still got all these billionaires and millionaires. 
it doesn't make any sense to me. They do what they want to us. They force us to do things we don't want to do. They give us face false information all the time, especially in the news. You got these parties that people that we always we are always voting and voting doesn't do nothing. People who die for their rights to vote, the so-called black people and the women, it's all in vain. It's all in vain. It doesn't mean nothing. Too many people are asleep, stuck in the matrix. They brainwash you since you was in preschool or kindergarten or whatever, whichever grade you started school at, and they keep on doing it. Peace.